Here's the reason why those porons don't really work. When you have, let's just say, say you have a hundred fleas bouncing around your house or your dog. How many of them do you reckon are on the dog? I mean, it's, it's not going to be 10%. So out of the hundred fleas, 90 of them, 10 might be on the dog, say, but about 90 of them are bouncing around the dog's bed, the dog's blanket, the back of the car, the kennel, in the corner of the carpet, which you don't know, there's eggs, there's larvae, there's all these different fleas, larvae, eggs at different stages. So when you kill everything that's on your dog, like the fleas, and you haven't broken the cycle. Hello there, Doggy Dan here with episode two in Pup Dates. And today I'm gonna to share with you something which maybe not all of you have experienced, but if you have, you'll know how full on this is. It's, it's fleas. If your dog has ever had fleas and you're going, how do I solve the problem? But even if you don't have the problem, but you are using what I would call, you know, the pour on um, flea treatment, then I urge you to take a few minutes and listen to this message because there's something I want to share. As I said, in Pup Dates, I'm going to speak from the heart. I'm going to speak my truth. And um, yeah, I've got no ulterior motives here. I, I just want to share the truth and I'm not sponsored by anybody. So I'm coming from my heart here, guys. So basically, I want to tell you a story about fleas because the flea market, let me just share with you, Data Bridge, um, market research i read the other day currently in 2022 they were saying that the flea worldwide flea market industry is worth about get ready for it six billion dollars and it's set to to boom to about 13 billion dollars by 2029 so the flea treatment industry worldwide it's a big big market and you know when you're talking about billions and billions of dollars then sometimes you know the truth can get a little bit lost it gets a little bit hidden it gets a little bit twisted and stretched and i want to share with you one story just so you know where i'm coming from and then you can make your own mind up but i'm also going to share some facts with you to just to, to mull over so we had four dogs, I think it was in the house at the time, and we had a massive flea problem. It was fleas, it was like, I think it lasted about a year or two on and off, um, but we could not shake the fleas. What would happen is we'd kind of get rid of them and they'd be back, and they'd kind of get rid of them and they'd be back. And it, it was actually a house that we bought. We, we reckon the fleas were just all over it, in, in the carpet a bit and in the dogs, and they got into our dogs. We tried everything. We tried these little magnetic necklace things. We tried these powders. We tried giving the dogs garlic and other stuff to eat. We tried all the different porons. I think we went through six different companies until I was literally driving around the vets going, have you got anything other than this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one? Because we've used all of them, you know, religiously for three or four months. Nothing was working. And um, we'd use powders, we'd use sprays, we'd use these clever collars, nothing worked. Then somebody said, try a flea bomb. So we bought these flea bombs. You basically set them off. I think we needed three or four. I kid you not, every flea in the house pretty much died, was gone. But more than that, we didn't have a flea problem for like two years. And I don't think we did it the next year. You know, we now it's like a decade later, all we do is set off a couple of flea bombs in the... Um, in the um, spring, in the springtime, we set off a couple of flea bombs. We never have to put any of the pour on our dogs, you know, the drop, the, the liquid. And so these flea bombs probably cost, I don't know, 20 bucks each or something. So it's about 40 bucks for the year and our entire house and all the dogs are done. With the pour on, it was getting super expensive. But there's a couple of other things I wanna share with you. One is this, here's the reason why those pour ons don't really work. When you have Let's just say, say you have a hundred fleas bouncing around your house or your dog. How many of them do you reckon are on the dog? I mean, it's, it's not going to be 10%. So out of the hundred fleas, 90 of them, 10 might be on the dog, say, but about 90 of them are bouncing around the dog's bed, the dog's blanket, the back of the car, the kennel, in the corner of the carpet, which you don't know, there's eggs, there's larvae, there's all these different fleas, larvae, eggs at different stages. So when you kill everything that's on your dog, like the fleas and you haven't broken the cycle they're all just lying down lying in wait next to the dining room chair in your dog's bed still even if you wash everything you're not going to get them all and the whole cycle just starts up that's why you have to keep doing it every month because you're not breaking any cycle you're just pouring more and more stuff on the dog and here's the scary thing for me the, the way that the fleas die is because the flea that's on your dog bites your dog and the blood 
has become so, I want to use, choose my word carefully here, but the blood has changed because there's something in the blood. You know, that stuff you put on your dog is so powerful. Let's call the word powerful, but it's a loose term, powerful. It's so powerful that if a, if a flea bites or eats the blood from your dog, it will die. Hmm, sounds a bit too powerful to me. And your dog is going to have that like every month or two, that put on him and just goes into his bloodstream and I guess you I guess it doesn't stay in the dog's bloodstream which is why you have to keep doing it so something's having to clean your dog's blood you know the liver of the kidneys are having to clean and work really hard to get all that product out of your dog's blood and then you have to put more on so that kind of concerns me but the other thing I guess is the price the cost you know when you realize that that these dogs are having that stuff put on them there's a very, very good solution, which is just a flea bomb, which goes up and it kills all the fleas, all the larvae, all the eggs, as far as I'm concerned, because we never had another problem. And also you've got to ask yourself the question, what's that doing to my dog? Is it really healthy? There is another option out there. So just consider it is what I'm saying. If you're struggling and you're feeling like they don't work, think about it. Now, of course, I want you to make sure you, know, you still have to worm your dogs. Some of the flea treatments have a wormer in them as well. You need to make sure you're worming your dogs. And some of the flea treatments do do more than just fleas. You know, they do um, maybe ticks, um, which prevents stuff like Lyme's disease. So do check with your vet or a holistic vet or something like that. Chat to somebody in the know. Talk to people. Make sure it's right for you in, in your area. But um, what I'm saying is if it's not working, it wasn't working for us. We spent hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on these pourons. And then we realized two canisters once a year 40 bucks done but of course when the, the when the market is going to be like 13 billion dollars there's a lot of money to be made so not everybody's going to be shouting it from the the hilltops hey you can solve this problem really easy with a couple of canisters once a year all righty so i hope that makes sense hope that's been helpful much love this is uh week two on pet health and uh, yeah, that's the end of Pup Dates for today.